Cartel, my people, my babies. What's going on with y'all boys, man? Y'all already know what time it is, man. It's your boy, Golden. <coughs> Golden Ghost. My bad, y'all. I'm. I don't know what's going on. <coughs> <coughs> Holy shit! It's 11:03. We got about an hour. We finna talk. We finna react. And. What a momentous occasion, because now is the time to talk about our good old friend Huarong over here. Now, um, this character has been the bane of my um, tenure as a Tekken player. I have a long history of this man shitting on me even in Tekken Revolution days this character is shit on me um Tekken 7 the video I still have videos up out there where I've I've raged I broke a couple things you're gonna have to you're gonna have to search a little bit because those are like very far off videos I've uploaded a lot of uh of Tekken stuff and then Elden Ring, a lot of stuff got uploaded in that time. And then now I'm working my way back into fighting games with Street Fighter 6 dropping. And Tekken 8. Now, Tekken 8, I haven't been reacting to, like, the trailers and stuff like that. Mainly because a lot of characters, they don't really seem like a characters I'm going to main. Like, Street Fighter 6, I reacted to because Jury was who I was going to main. Um, but who are wrong? Who are wrong specifically? He deserves this reaction. He deserves the reaction, and he deserves this speech. He deserves this message because there's been a lot of people that want to downplay this character. I don't know what it is with who are wrong players, but they like to treat him like he is the most dog shit character. He's not broken. He doesn't have like he doesn't have anything that's like breaks the game damn near. But you're not going to sit here and tell me that this character is. You're not going to sit here and tell me that this character is not bullshit. <clears throat> in his own way. In his own way, he can be bullshit. Let's start with the obvious. Down 3-4. Down 3-4 is a guaranteed. If you hit the low, the mid is guaranteed. Okay? And I'm not bullshitting when I say that. If I change this to standing guard. It's in standing guard, right? I'm still getting guaranteed. I'm still getting guaranteed damage. I'm getting guaranteed 20 damage off off just off just switching stance and doing down three four. Now, you could say, you could say, oh well, oh well. Why don't you just block low? Just block it, dude. Just block it. What are you doing? Just block it. What are you doing? <clears throat> you know, just trying to just trying to expect this. Just thinking that this is gonna come out every time. <clears throat> First of all, he has he has a mid version of this move. He has a mid high version of the exact same move. Hold on. Now the mid, the mid you can block. Let's see. If you get hit by let's see, let's let's test something. Cause I actually never tested this out. Okay, so he's set to standing guard after he gets hit the first time. trying to get to where I want to get him in a situation okay so at least you can block the mid at least at least you can block the mid one but the low is free eats free eats and back to what back to what people like to say why don't you just block the low Let, let's start off with let's start off with the fact that the low itself is 17 frames 17 frames. I don't know if you know how important that is, but a hell sweep is 16 frames. 
arguably slower considering you have to put in the motion input for it and do the wave dash and most people wave dash into it to give people fear for their mixed up game <coughs> so you're telling me you're stopping a move that's one frame you're you're consciously on reaction every single time blocking a move that's only one frame slower than a hell sweep that's what you're telling me because it's not it's it's not it's not gonna go down how you think it is most most players most players get caught by snake edges most players that most players you play against will get caught by snake edges let alone a hell sweep so for you to say so for you to say just block it is disingenuous okay that's one two we're not gonna sit here and act like this man doesn't have mix-ups this man has down four one that he can do. He can do one off of the thing. <clears throat> he can um he can do two out of it if you wanna just keep staying um if you wanna keep staying high. <laughs> and really, you can just mash and be all up in the character's face. And then <clears throat> if you try if you start trying to pressure back, he has back one, which is a punch that basically gives you a guaranteed sidestep sidestep property punch. That beats a lot more things that you think it will. This move has bailed out so many wall wrongs, especially near the wall, boy. <laughs> near the wall, just back one it out, bro. Just back one it out, especially if they're mashing, back one it out. <laughs> now, continuing on. This man also has power crushes. Now, you would say, what's wrong with power crushes? Every character in the game has a power crush. What's wrong with power crushes? This man has two. And one of them is a launcher. And I get 68 damage for zero effort. Zero effort. Sixty-eight damage for zero effort. I have to press more buttons with Katarina just to get 65 damage than I do with Huarong to get 68. <clears throat> oh, I also forgot to mention this too. He also has he also has a mid mix up too. If you think it's a good idea to just after this if you think he's just gonna keep doing this he can choose to go for a low or he can just choose to just fuck you and then hit you with a boatload of fucking damage you know I don't know the combo for it but I've seen K-Wiz take away whole health bars doing 80% just off that because they chose to go for they chose to commit low they chose to commit for the low block instead of trying to just stay blocking mid <clears throat> disingenuous just disingenuous to think you could just block against a wall wrong player that knows what he's doing i don't know what i'm doing and i and i know that i can blow somebody up with just with just the with just these tools alone you can blow somebody up <clears throat> you have a um even though i fucked it up even though i fucked it up if I can do it I can't do it I can't do it because my fingers ain't good enough but you have one power crush that has decent Oki you have one you have one um you have one power crush with decent Oki and you have another one it's just a full-on fucking launcher ridiculous move a guarantee sidestepping that's a mid And then he has this. <coughs> the issue, the issue, the issue with this. Let me go to simple select and go to Katarina real quick. The issue with all of these is. <coughs> Jesus. The issue with all this is. Walrong doesn't have just one thing specifically that's good 
a really good he doesn't have one thing that's overpowered about him he doesn't have one thing that's really good about him he's just good at all he's just really good at everything that's what the issue is because not only does he have two power correct me if i'm wrong but i don't think there's any other character in the game with more than one um with more than one power crush and then the only one that has a power crush launcher is negan a dlc character But yeah, you don't have other characters in the game that can um that can do a low into a um that can do a low into a high and then it's guaranteed. I do that and he is able to block the follow-up and I'm negative. I can only get that on counter hit. Then I can get it. Quaron gets that on normal hit. Not every character has a power crush launcher. Not every character has guaranteed sidestepping. And like, and not, I keep saying sidestepping. Not every character has a hit that has low properties. And majority of them that do have, are, they're highs. Armor King has a sidestep move that's a high. Jin has a, I think he has a mid. But majority of them are like, they're highs or something like that. And then Jin, I don't know, bro. I always... I'm not going to speak on Jin. I don't know that much about Jin to even be speaking on him. The point that I'm getting to is... The point that I'm getting at is... Huarong has a lot of tools. He has a lot of tools. He has the most tools in the entire game. Is is Huarong broken? Absolutely not. He doesn't, he doesn't break the game. But for you to say that this character is not strong... For you to say this character is not good... Is bullshit. It's BS. Because this character can carry. This character can carry you in all aspects. And I'm not even joking when I say that. He can carry you in all aspects, especially online. Online, he can carry the shit out of you. Offline, different story because you're playing against try-hard sweats that don't take showers, that play this game every day. Hard in. Um, hard in. <laughs> hard in, hard on. You feel me? Just full on ass quaking on the game, bro. That probably made zero sense. I apologize. But you guys get you guys get what I'm saying, bro, right? Yo, this is very disingenuous. And before you guys say, because this this one thing I this is another thing I have to touch on, because I know somebody's gonna say it. Oh, you just have to learn the matchup, bro. That is the most garbage argument I've ever heard. Do not say learn the matchup because you can learn the matchup to any type of character. But unless you have, unless you have a thousand to two thousand plus hours to put into the game to be learning the matchup for how many characters are there? Two, four, six. Hold on. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty. Unless you have the time to learn 51 characters who all have over 100 plus moves, you are not learning the matchup for every single character in the game. So there's always going to be that one character that's going to be bullshit. In every character, you can just say, you can use the learn the matchup argument for it. So I don't even know why people do that. You want, you, you're tired of Kazumi's little bullshit? Oh, learn the matchup. You don't know fucking Ganyu's little, um, you don't know about Ganryu's, um, little roly-poly bullshit? Learn the matchup. You having a hard time dealing with, um, Zafina's stance and his, in her movement? Learn the fucking matchup. You can't handle fucking Oras? Oh, you need to learn the sidestep and learn the matchup. Oh, Lei? Learn the matchup. Bakuram got you in, um, infinite stun and there ain't shit you can do about it? <laughs> you may as well learn the matchup, dog. <laughs> Fang Wei fucking you up from all different directions. You can't do nothing because he's able to go out, go back in and hit you. Basically just disrespecting your frames. <laughs> you should have learned the matchup. Like, you can you can literally use that argument for every single character in this game. So, for you to say learn the matchup to your character just because... <clears throat> just, just, just because? 
No. No. I take my shit, I wipe my ass with that shit, and I flush it down the toilet, bro. We, we, not, we not doing that. We're not, that's not something that we're gonna allow over here on this side, bro. That learn the matchup shit, that's bullshit. That's the worst argument you can make to defend your character. It's the worst argument you can make to defend your character. Give a legitimate reason as to why your character is actually ass. Like, just one last example because we still have a whole second phase of this video to get to, which is the reaction. I can say that Katarina's ass because despite her being, despite her having, despite her having the, the, I forgot the, the word, despite her having the stigma on her of being just, oh, you could just press, press the four button to win or press three to win. At any level above, at any level above beginner, this shit is not going to work because of how negative you are when you block. Both of those strings are unsafe. You are going to get punished by majority of characters in the game. And that leaves you with only two options, setting up counter hits and setting up your snake edges, which are 28 frames, which are reactable, and hop kicks, which are also unsafe. So I only really have three options. I really only have three options. Counter hit fish and fish for fish for scary lows and scary hot kicks. That's all I can do. That's a better argument than oh, you just sure to learn the matchup. Oh, my Katarina ain't a good character because most people don't know her matchup. Make it make sense, dog. I think it makes sense. I know I could word it. I know I could potentially word it a lot better than what I am, but I don't know. I'm not an analyst, bro. I'm not here to analyze it to you all the way. I'm just here to give you my piece and give you an example of what, what's even going on here, bro. Um. All right. All that to be said, we have a trailer to watch for Huarong. So the big question that I have is, will Harong, will Harong or Huarang, or however you want to pronounce his name, will this man be the carry character of Tekken 8? We're going to break it down, and I'm going to actually explain why I don't think so. I think they're changing him for the better. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this. Get ready for the next battle. Tech turn eight. New challenger. Okay, so we're already seeing we're already seeing similar stuff. First thing they show is the down three four to let people know, hey, the down three four is in the game. Now, we're just gonna go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and slow this down. Go ahead and slow this down. So he does the down three four. He has a different. He has a different stance. He has a different way to switch into a stance to get that. Um, he has a different way to switch into his stance, which is like a quick little low. <clears throat> that he can transition into his armor move. Now, that used to piss me off. That normally under normal circumstances that would piss me off. But it doesn't piss me off because this armor move, as you can see, the properties of this armor move look entirely different. 
It doesn't, it doesn't, at least from what I'm seeing, it's not looking like it's going to launch you for a combo. That's, that is okay. That is okay. Because there has not been a character that has a launching, a launching armor attack. And that should be the case for every character. The fact that Negan has an armor launcher is bullshit. The fact that Warong has an armor launcher is bullshit. And it's bullshit because they're the only characters that have the fucking shit. Give it to everybody. If you're gonna get if you're gonna give him some stuff that busted, let everybody have a busted fucking armor launcher move. But I think the fact that they're changing it to where it just it makes him go across the air and you can get his Oki after it, that's fine. Now, is he going to have multiple armor moves? That's my next question. <laughs> Let's go ahead and speed it back up. That's new. That's new. It looks like he has a, a parry now. Un unless he's always had the parry. I'm not sure. <clears throat> Alright, that same sweep on counter hit is a combo. It looks like you're able to... um. The flamingo stance uh, uh, will have better side stepping track into it. And you're able to use heat to transition forward. Hey man, real quick, if there's anything that I'll that if there's anything that I'll never take away from Hall Wrong at all, bro, it's his design, bro. <laughs> this man, this man has consistently looked at sexy every fucking game he comes out in. Every game he comes out and this man's design just gets more and more sexy. This nigga's turning into Fabio. Look at this man. This man is this man's is literally this man's is one like one hair growth spurt away from becoming Fabio at this point. Taekwondo Fabio. Look at this man. He look like he wanna take my bitch. He look like he wanna take my wife and kids. <laughs> Okay, so that on counter hit goes for a combo. Maybe it's because I watched the trailer. Maybe it's because I already watched the trailer and I assumed that it was going to um, translate the, um, the seven. Or maybe that's on counter hit. I'm not sure. Okay. Looks like new stuff. It doesn't look like that move is an armor move anymore. That you seen that at the end? You seen that at the end? That was that armor move from Tekken 7. That's what I'm, that's that that's what I'm saying. This this looks good. This looks good. And the reason why I say it looks good is because they took away the stuff that was, they took away a lot of stuff that was annoying. Like they took away the annoying properties of some of his moves, but they still gave him the whole wrong treatment. They gave him his mix-ups. They gave him his range. That man has some long ass legs. <clears throat> they get, he, he has some long ass legs. They give him, they gave him his shit. Um, <coughs> They gave him his uh, his long legs. They gave him his mix-ups. They gave him his counter hit moves that go into combos. And they allowed them all to be interchangeable into each other. But they, like I said, they took away the, some of the properties that made it bullshit. They took away the armor launchers. They, um, I didn't see, I didn't see too many sidestep. I didn't see even that one sidestep punch move come out. So they might have took it out. But in turn, they made it to where his um, where he's in that stance, he can sidestep out of that stance, like a lot more easier. From what I seen, it looked like he able to sidestep a lot better with that. But from what I'm seeing from all this, like I said, it looks like they gave they gave him all his tools. They just changed and balanced the properties a little bit better. So it's basically going to be like Tekken Seven Wall Wrong. But his properties are going to be a lot more balanced, which I think is, I think this is going to be 
a, this is going to be a good Huarong, bro. <clears throat> now, does he still have carry potential? Absolutely. All mix-up characters have carry potential. If you know, if you know what you're doing, like for example, um, Anna, uh, Anna and Nina, they have crazy mix-up potential. So yeah, you can you can definitely get carried if you know how to mix stuff up. You can just flow chart your uh your mix-ups and shit. But yeah, dude, I feel like I feel like the I feel like it will be a lot less. I feel like it would be a lot more deserved for high rank Quarong players in eight than it is in seven. That that's how I feel based on this trailer so far. And that fucking rage art is fucking sexy, dude. <laughs> it, it's crazy because I actually I actually fuck with Taekwondo. I used to take Taekwondo when I was a kid. When I was like real young type shit, so it's probably all water. It's probably all all um, knowledge under the bridge now for me. But when I was younger, I used to take a uh, taekwondo and stuff. So I always really been into like characters that know how to kick and shit. It's just I never could use them. I always end up gravitating toward other characters in fighting games. But I got I love to see it, bro. Yeah. That's crazy. I might actually use who are wrong. Like I might actually use the character seriously. If if it's if it ends up like this, this might be this might be the, um my guy character. Still don't have a main yet. My main is always um I always have female mains. I'm still undecided on who I'm a main. I kind of was looking at June. <clears throat> Nina looks I. I don't, I'm not really sure how the guns are going to work. June looks all right, but I know, already know they're going to nerf June into the ground because she has that special mechanic where she gets health back. I already know they're going to patch that up. Um, Xiao Yu's always been too complicated for me. I'm still waiting on that female main to really fucking hit me. But my guy character, I might, I might end up, I might end up doing it, bro. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I might end up pulling the trigger and actually letting go of my hatred for this character, bro. Cause eight made him look eight made him look a, a lot more balanced and a lot more amazing and a lot more respectable without taking away nothing from him. And I really I really think that's a good thing. So Yeah, bro. That's all I really got for y'all, bro. I appreciate each and every one of y'all that made it this far in the video. <clears throat> and <laughs> that's really all I got for y'all boys, man. I appreciate y'all. Um, not really too sure we're going to be talking about next time. Let me know in the comments what y'all want to see next. Um, and this has been your boy Golden Ghost, man. And I'm out this thing, bro. Appreciate every single one of y'all. 400 plus strong, bro. Appreciate every single one of y'all boys, man. And I'm out this thing. Deuces.